Windows 11 needs, of course, a valid license key, which I have. It needs TPM 2.0 for security, which I have. And it needs a i7 processor level, which I don't have. So here's our approach. Make a few registry changes. I saw somebody online do that uh, to ignore the processor and TPM, if that's your case. It takes a variety of update reboot cycles, normally with Windows 11, at least on the other machines that I've installed. Uh, we expect to see a few drivers that are not found. Those would be Windows 10 drivers that we will add into the Windows 11 install. And basically, I'll be able to extend the life of my ThinkPad T570 beyond what uh, people think is a valid laptop. It runs fine. i got a terabyte hard drive, 32 gig of memory, 4K screen. So I want to keep using it. What we're going to do first is come down here. Type BIOS, B-I-O-S. You can uh, come down here and hit restart now. I have a Windows 11 USB install. USB. Plug that in here. I'm going to plug in the power. Okay, we're going to power it on and go into the setup menu. Try to get it to boot from this USB stick. Hit enter. And we want to hit F12. And we want to boot, scroll down with the down arrow, USB cruiser. Asking us what we want to install. So you have a little Windows environment that's running. Shift function F10. There we go. Okay, so this is a ThinkPad. You have two meanings for these keys. If you don't hit the function button, then it's operating the ThinkPad, like lower the screen, brighten the screen, multiple screens, audio, and so forth. You hold the function key, then you're going to get function 1 through 12. Edit the registry, run regedit. We have a functioning mouse. We're going to come down H key local machine. And we open system, setup, scroll down, and in setup, which is right here, we want to right click and add a new key, new key called lab config, Hit enter. And then in lab config, we want to right click and add a new double word 32 bit and the value we're going to we're going to call it by pass tpm check we we'll double click on it and give it a value of 1 all right and then we're going to come down a lap config again right click new 32 bit value we're going to call it by pass capital B secure capital S boot capital B check capital C make sure we spelled those right bypass TPM B TPM and C are capital letters and bypass secure boot check and we're going to give that a value of one also okay now we're going to stop that Close regedit, exit the screen, and now we're going to proceed with the install. Let's see what happens. Hit next, install now. And so now it's asking for your Windows product key, which you should always store the minute you get a Windows system in the case of you replacing a drive if you drive crashes or what have you. So in the drive I took out over here, which I have 512 gigabyte on the drive. I copied the Windows key down. And so I'm going to type it in here. Okay, now we're going to put Windows 11 Pro. Accept. Custom install. 
the new install. Use the whole drive, one terabyte. And starting all right, it kept installing. It rebooted once, went through UFI. I said just reboot, accepted it. The US keyboard, yes. Skip secondary keyboard. Checking for updates. I do have an Ethernet cable plugged in on the bottom down here. Good things coming my way. Your PC will restart before you continue. Okay, it rebooted. Now, what's the name of a device? Typed in my device name. It's rebooting again. Back to the main Lenovo screen. Okay. Set up for personal use, work or school. I'll just do personal. Next. And most of the installs are Windows now. They want you to have an account to sign in. So create a Microsoft account and then you can bypass it sometimes. Some of the pre-installs you can't bypass it anymore. So I'm going to enter my Microsoft account and hit next and enter my password. I will create a pin. I don't really want to get anything customized except I want find my device on. No diagnostics, no inking and typing, no tailored experiences, skip the advertising ID, and so forth. Find my device is all I want. I'm going to skip all of the customization. Don't need any of it. You can turn all this on in one way or another later. But I just want to get through the install and see if it worked correctly. I do not want to set up for Android or iPhone right now. I do not need Microsoft 365. I already have a license to it. I don't need cloud storage. Fine. I don't need Game Pass. I skip for now. Now it's doing a little bit of thinking. Getting things ready for you. This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. I still have it plugged in. The basic screen that you get when you click in the search bar. I'm going to go at the bottom here and type in Device Manager. Under Control Panel. Turn that on. And go check out what it found for devices. And I see some other devices unknown. So I'll right click and hit scan for hardware changes, see what happens. And nothing happened. So let's double click on this one. Hit driver. And hit update driver. Search automatically. Search update drivers on Windows Update. Check for updates. Let's see what it finds. And you see it found a whole bunch of things. Some Windows specific things, anti-malware, malicious, update for Windows 11, and then you see system updates, some Bluetooth, display drivers, ports, system, mouse. So maybe those will clear up. So let's just update everything. Install all. And it's going to start downloading and installing everything. All right, everything's downloading 100%. Let's hit restart. That hasn't changed. So let's just do a restart. I'm letting that run. If you'll notice here, some of the other devices have gone away. So it's finding what drivers are missing and installing them. I peeked over at update history. You can see it's got two Windows updates and a bunch of driver updates that did install. Back to the install screen, update screen. And we still have the display one sitting here at 0%. Let's try to restart.
updates are on the way. You're 30% there. Please keep your computer on. Went by in the way of the Windows logo and it's going to perform the rest of the updates. And here we go with the screen. Okay. Let's go down and type updates here. Got a couple of screens popping up. I guess it's still doing its work. Complete updates. We have another install, a couple pendings, a download install. That's that display one, so let's click on that again. And let's just be patient a little bit. It says your device is missing important security updates. Make sure to keep your device on and plug in so updates can complete. Yeah, I'm not the most patient guy sometimes with these computers, but we'll wait. See what happens. So see it's progressing right here. Cumulative update, 22%. I'm going to right click on the background and check the display settings just to look. See, okay, so this is a high res system 3840 by 2160, but it's not, it's not allowing me to select anything. So it found the high res, but it doesn't have the right driver. Okay, found another one. I'm down to three. Now it's doing another install. Completed, completed. We'll go ahead and restart now. Okay. Back in Windows. Let's go down here to the bottom. Type update. Back to this screen. Go down to the bottom. Type device manager. Come back to this panel. Still a couple things missing. Download and install all. Does not like that display driver. Now let's find the device drivers. I listed several places you can try to find the device drivers, but we actually have to know which ones we're going to look for. So in my case, after I got Windows 11 installed, there were still three drivers that I couldn't find. To open up Device Manager, for instance, double click on the display driver, select Details, and select Hardware IDs. And you'll be able to find the first line, copy it, of what the device manufacturer is and its name. And in this case, you see the vendor is number 8086 and the device is 5916. We want to download our drivers from Lenovo. If you open up a browser, there's a little plugin called Lenovo Service Bridge. It helps the browser find the different hardware characteristics of your computer. You're going to have to download and install lsb.exe to Lenovo Service Bridge. It'll take a few minutes to download and run. First of all, if it's not installed, it's going to tell you try again. Otherwise, go install it. And you see LSB XE, go ahead and run it. It's going to install a program that you can uninstall from Control Panel if you want to. I always install this on my Lenovo computers so I don't have to look around or devices and drivers myself. Okay, the wizard pops up. Let's install. Okay, it's installed, and I go back to pcsupport.lenovo.com, the website, and hit Detect Product. And it found my laptop type for me. So that's where I'll get the device drivers. One location to find devices and vendors is Device Hunt. So on my display, if I copy the 
four digit code and paste it in device ID and search it. Oh, it's HD Graphics 620. I know that's the Intel HD Graphics 620. So when I go back to the Lenovo site, I know which device driver to install. And yeah, so I see it down in here and I can just select that and install it. So I'll go to manual device driver update and search down in graphics processing units. And I should see the Intel graphics driver. And there it is. Download it, double click it, and install it, and you're good to go. Here's another place, Microsoft Update Catalog. You can search again for strings, vendor ID or device ID, and I can look at those, and I'm like, oh, that gives me an indication which driver I'm going to use. And when I know the type of driver, I'm going to go back to the Lenovo site and download the appropriate driver. I'm not going to download any drivers from external sites. So those are two websites to go find the actual device driver type before you go back to Lenovo and download it. You can also install Lenovo System Update. Um, I usually put that on. That will actually keep your Lenovo specific devices updated outside of the Microsoft update itself. When you click on system update, it'll download and install. You can also install Lenovo Vantage, which is a bit of a shell on top of Lenovo system update. And Advantage allows you to change and reset the camera, ch check your battery, and do a few other things. And in my case, since I've already updated the drivers, it's going to check and it's going to end up not finding any. I'm going to show you the specific drivers that I had to actually update from the Lenovo site. Once they're updated, they'll stay updated. You may not get them through the Windows 11 update, but either you have Lenovo Vantage or Lenovo System Update, and those drivers will stay updated. It's worth noting when you release a new version of an operating system like Windows 11, we're not going to rewrite all of the old device drivers. It's too expensive, so quite a few. In fact, probably the majority of the device drivers in Windows 11 are coming from those 10 versions, possibly before that. So your Windows 10 device drivers are going to run for quite some time before they ever would be replaced. This is Lenovo Vantage. You can install that also. It's a nice utility if you're running Lenovo desktops or laptops, but it gives you a little bit more control over a variety of devices, including running a Lenovo specific system update from the user interface. So when you run Lenovo Vantage, you'll see it'll click system update and run system update underneath itself. And you'll see anything that needs to be updated and do an install again. To repeat myself, Microsoft Windows 11 will deploy Windows 11 updates and Lenovo will add newer Lenovo specific drivers ahead of the Windows 11 updates. So I went through looking through device manager for vendor IDs and product IDs and I found four drivers that need actually three Thunderbolt, the USB-C driver, the Intel video driver, and some Intel chipset driver. This was the install for the Intel chipset. Got that out of the way. Not sure which part of the chipset. This was the install for the Thunderbolt firmware update tool. Got that one out of the way. Installed cleanly. This was the Intel Thunderbolt controller driver. And then finally was the Intel graphics driver. So there are three sets of Intel drivers that I needed to add. And that's it. Everything's working great. You can see I've got Cyberlink Power Director, Browser, Explorer. I'm actually making this video right now. I have no problems there. All my network access, all the drivers are update. Windows 11 is running just fine. Hope it helps you.